Hey guys, it's Squalled at Builder Cross, and today I'm going to show you how I paint this unicorn head paint by line. This is a paint by line product, which means that all of these lines have been etched into the cutout by our machines. So you don't have to worry about freehanding anything today. Just follow along with me and paint inside the lines. I'm going in first with the color sea glass for his face or her face, and I'm also going to paint um, the edges of her ears this color. Now I'm going to go in with the color evergreen, which is um, a dark forest shade green by Dixie Belle and I'm just painting the bow. Now I'm going to go in with the color mint julep and paint the first and third strand of her hair. I'm going in now with the color kudzu which is a medium shade green very similar to mint julep but a little bit darker and painting the center strip of her hair. After this, I'm going to go in with just some metallic gold I have on hand from Walmart. And um, I believe this is like a folk art color. And I'm just painting the horn. And then after that, I'm going to go in with the color soft pink, which again is a Dixie Belle color. And I'm going to paint the inside of her ears. All the colors, um, other than the gold that I used throughout this video, are Dixie Belle paint colors. If you guys would like to know or purchase this paint or even this cutout, you can check that out on buildacross.com. And we have over 300 different paint by lines to choose from and 10,000 different cutouts. So um, check those out. And if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to send us a message or uh, write in the comments and we will be happy to help. I've let everything dry completely and now I'm going to go in with my Sharpie brush stroke marker and outline everything. This marker makes it so easy because you have a lot of control over it. And again, this is a Sharpie brush stroke marker. If you would prefer to go in with paint, I would recommend a number zero and some watered down black paint. And that will work just as well. I just want to show you guys this marker because it makes it a little bit easier. And I'm just following the lines that are etched into the cutout. And then after that, I am done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to have a wonderful day.